Good boy. You say hello to everyone. I don't even need to say anything. <laughs> hey guys, Sid here and welcome back to another video. I'm here with everyone's favorite bird, Yuki. Oh, really? So, we're back with another TikTok video. You guys seem to really like this video series I have where I watch some viral TikTok animal videos because unfortunately a lot of the ones that go very viral are also quite harmful. So, we're going to talk about them and talk about why a lot of them are not okay. I'm not a vet or anything like that. I just have experience in a lot of animals and I just want to help educate those to realize that a lot of these videos that go so viral aren't as cute as you may think. Sorry about the birds, by the way gonna be a lot of video. So you guys have been sending me a lot of TikToks on my account, so to pets. I've been receiving a lot of DMs. Uh, it's very hard for me to go through them all. So this is one that came out recently that I was sent to many times and it has 3.8 million likes. Hamster vacation. Let's see how this goes. Oh boy. Oh no. I forgot they actually put it in the water. <sighs> wow, okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, you can go on my shoulder now if you want. First of all, what is this little critter trail bus thing? It looks like it's a set for a toy, but it's for a hamster. This whole video is like treating a hamster like it's, it's a toy, which is really concerning. But yeah, these little critter trail sets that look like toys are really not helping at all and they should not be allowed like at all they just really encourage the idea to treat animals like toys and aim them for like little kids and stuff like that so they put the hamster in this little like drink holder in a pool which you know I thought it was gonna end there which that's already like why would you do that like a hamster doesn't find this fun a hamster doesn't see this as a as a vacation there's no reason to do this for a hamster um it's just unnecessary stress and the fact that they actually put the hamster in the water in a pool like a deep pool why i've talked about this in many of my videos before about why you should not bath hamsters and other like small animals and usually people do it in sinks and stuff which is like already bad but like a pool like are you serious it's just extremely stressful they could die from stress or they could die from hypothermia. It can ruin their coat. There's just so much wrong with this and I'm really upset that this is even allowed on TikTok. It should be taken down because this is just encouraging kids to think that you can treat a hamster like a toy. Um, this is one that was in my feed. It's got that same annoying ass audio that all these videos have. This video gives me so much anxiety, oh my god. In case you don't realize, this whole thing is like obviously staged, but um, the balloons aren't actually lifting up the dog, there's actually a string attached to it, so... You can see like the white string um, that goes higher than the balloons. It's like someone's probably on a balcony or something and just lifting it. And they just pull up the dog, and it's like barely hanging there. This looks very painful for the dog, because it's lifting it by its arms, but also it looks like it's gonna slip out. Like, this could easily go so wrong. They're literally treating this puppy like it's a prop for their TikTok. And I've seen actually several videos with the same concept of like, pretending that a dog is flying with balloons but they're really just pulling the string. There's only one person who did that right and that was Jenna Marbles when she put marble on those balloons. It wasn't actually tied to the balloons, it was just like, he was just sitting in a little thing. And it was inside. Okay, I wanna watch a nice video now. This is a really cool account that has a lot of ferrets and the videos are just hilarious. They get this really long tube thing, and the spirits just like love it. It's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> what a good toy though. And there's like lots of videos of them just like playing. It's so cute. Ferrets are so chaotic. They're hilarious and they, they always just make me so happy. <laughs> okay, this is an interesting one. Oh boy. So, this is a cool concept, you know? It's a cool idea. It's just, it's not, it shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> the reason why this is really not suitable is because it's a bowl shape, which bowl shaped fish tanks are really not suitable for any kind of fish. They're actually not even sold in my country because they're considered cruel. I know some countries still sell fish bowls for some reason, but 
they're very cruel and too small for any fish and this is basically just the same thing and there's goldfish in there there's i see three goldfish goldfish in a bowl really don't don't mix goldfish get really big and this is definitely way too small for even a single goldfish um and they will aggro this yeah this would also be very hard to clean i just don't see the point it just it just seems like a big hassle to me like maybe you can put some snails in here big apple snail still be a pain in the ass to clean okay this is one that was sent to me hundreds of times so they put fish in here which is really dumb and horrible stressful for those fish and then they freeze them and whatever but i mean to me they obviously didn't freeze the fish i really don't think they did because they didn't show that at all so i don't think they froze the fish i think they just put the fish in there at the start for like shock value and to get some extra views and stuff still very unnecessarily like stressful and cruel for those fish but i really don't think they actually froze them it's very weird though it's just another one of those accounts that always put like to put fish in anything with water and it just for shock value it's really horrible that fish are used as props just to get some extra likes and comments now um this is actually a good video i would like to watch angelfish in there it's an interesting mix of species but it's better than the other tank so they found this poor little african dwarf frog i think it is and one of these like horrible half circle tank things that like i've seen them on wish and stuff i've talked about them in videos before they're absolutely horrible no animal should be in there they're very cruel i've never seen an african dwarf frog in there though that's just so sad but thankfully they rescued the frog and now he lives in a big old tank and he's living the time of his life so yeah that makes me really happy i'm so glad that they rescued him and he has a much better life now in a 55 gallon tank which is awesome so props to this person get on you for saving that frog i'm sure he's so much happier now he looks very happy in your videos of him okay this one's a bit hard to watch um, so if you really love hamsters and are sensitive especially to videos of hamsters being injured I probably would recommend you skip this one because this one's quite horrible. So let's watch. <laughs> yeah, this one's honestly like so concerning to me because that hamster's clearly like very stressed. He's moving very fast. He's very not tame, obviously. He, he's very scared of people by the looks of it. But for some reason, they're trying to put him in a hamster ball which is already like horrible but he's so skittish that he jumps out and lands on the floor and he looks like he's dead thankfully he's alive but he's probably quite brain damaged from that i would assume the way he's running around too is a bit weird i don't know if it's just because he's just so untamed and... tofu hey 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 can you not do that sound please it's a bit loud come here big man you want to be on video okay no, we're not. I don't think the hamster would be like totally okay after that. I mean, at least he's still alive, but I think he would probably have some kind of brain damage after that because that's a very big height for a hamster and he wasn't moving for a while after that, so it's really upsetting. I don't really know why they were trying to put him into a, a, a hamster ball when he was clearly very stressed and scared. I don't know the context of this, but also the fact that they were laughing too. I don't understand like if I like dropped one of my animals or something I would just be like horrified so I hope he's okay oh boy why what is that um this is your sign to not do that <laughs> maybe just don't don't do that that looks like a bug container that you'd get when you were like a kid and put like a centipede in there and just like watch it for a few minutes and then put it back. That is not, not a fish tank. Why has it got a castle top to it too? What is this? I've never seen a fish tank like this before, but it's the worst fish tank I've ever seen. It makes him look like a really big goldfish in there. Just so you guys know, 
Goldfish can get literally the size of this tank. And they swap the fish, like swap its home each week. They put it in a jar to give it to the next person. Uh, why? Yeah, that's um, very stressful for a fish to swap its, its tank every week. It's very stressful and the tanks will be different water levels too so it just it probably won't be able to handle it very long um, and the tank is just way too small for a goldfish that tank is going to get very dirty very fast it's going to get a lot of ammonia um, and that goldfish probably isn't going to last very long unfortunately shouldn't be such a thing as a shared animal that you share between houses like wh why? I think it might be a better idea to get like a shared toy instead instead of a living animal just my opinion. By the way, can you guys stop sending me slime videos and Roblox videos? I don't know why I've been getting so many. And poppets, those popping things. People keep sending me DMs of poppets. I'm so confused. Please stop. What is happening? Oh, he looks so scared. Oh. Okay, I, this is the first time I've seen this one. I don't know what is happening. Why is there so many lobsters? Crayfish? Why are they all surrounded by the puppies? They look so scared. I don't know what to say to this one. I'm just so confused. Um, what What is happening? Why is this a video? Why are there so many lobsters? Why are they scaring these poor doggos? I, I don't know. All right, let's watch one last nice video to end this off. That me for scaring the pigeons away. <laughs> this is just really cute. He's just sitting on his little perch, like, watching the pigeons. <laughs> that is so cute. It must be a pretty well-trained, uh, Eclictus. Eclictus parrot. Eclictus? Eclictus? Anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope this video could help you guys realize that a lot of these viral videos on TikTok are really not okay for animals and should probably be reported and taken off TikTok, but it's unfortunate that there is so many of these TikToks, but at least I can try to help some people realize that these TikToks really aren't okay and should not be encouraged at all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.